So the video editing game is about to be changed forever. Robots are helping us as video editors, making video editing even more simple and easier. What does that mean is here are the five video editing artificial intelligent tools that you better know need to start learning and considering incorporating into your workflow. So number one is text-to-speech transcribing sequence, AKA the already implemented Adobe Sensei. If you've been consuming any sort of short form content, you pretty much see every piece of short form content have captions. And back in my day, I used to do that manually, but by simply just clicking the text tool, transcribe your sequence, you can have word by word, all types of SRT files exported, all done through Adobe Sensei, which also has things like content aware fill in video format with just the click of a button. Now, captions are more easier than ever. And this has just replaced people like rev.com. Bye bye guys, as well as any sort of transcription services, because now it's all built into video editing software. The next AI tool is the already world renowned known is Chad GBT. How you as a video creator can implement this is a by experimenting with video titles, copywriting, as well as creating your very own storyboard. Hey, Chad GBT, create me a 10 sequence shot list and make it very engaging and cinematic. Now put that exact dialogue that you just spat out to me into a table and graph that I can easily read and present to future clients or myself while I am video editing. Number three on the list is AudioPod. I'm not sponsored, but this is one of the third party patent pending automatic podcast editor as well as jump cap editor. All you need to do is you have this raw clips, have two separate audio channels and bada bing bada boom, your timeline will start editing by itself. What usually takes me an hour can take artificial intelligence one to five minutes and it does a pretty decent job. And this is only the beginning. This is only the beta. Just imagine how crisp and efficient this will be in the next two years. All you need to do now is click a button and it'll cut all the spaces as well as jump to exactly who is talking with just a click of a button. Bye bye junior editors. Bye bye people that were using Fiverr and Upwork to outsource their video editing. Now I can do it with just a click of a button. Content is scary, scarily easy to make now. The next tool is Descript and Adobe Premiere also is starting to implement their own version of this is text-based video editing, where you can close gaps all by just editing it'll transcribe exactly what type of audio is being spoken to within the video. And you can automatically start editing word by word, closing your gaps. And that is another way to see and deviate from the typical A to B sequential, chronological, sequential, uh, linear editing. You know what I mean? And last but not least, I talked about this. Adobe Firefly is going to change the game. Within five years, this will be no longer in beta format, but in studio version 1.3, where I can be like, hey, Adobe, create me a five second shot list storyboard sequence. Hey, Adobe Firefly, color grade this for me in a warm tone. Hey, Adobe Firefly, create B-roll to match this A-roll. This is the future of video editing and video editors, where now, we are delegating the task to not only outsource in terms of somewhere that pays, I pay them less and I have more time on my hands as a content creator, but now I don't even need to do that. I can just click a button, bam, content is served on a platter. What does that mean? That means we as video editors and content creators are gonna be more efficient than ever with the higher demand of content creation it leaves more room for creativity and more room as operators. How you need to have and incorporate these tools. Like, yeah, I know how to use ChatGPT. Yes, I know how to use Firefly. Yes, I know how to use third-party software like, like Autopod. Now, I will and am already leaning towards 
this higher level of creativity where it gives you as a video editor, it's like, to be honest, I'm pretty sure you would not have fun editing five hours of audio podcast, video audio podcast. Now click a button, you're done in 10 minutes. Times are changing, times are incorporating, and the future is very video focused. What do you guys think? The future of video editing and how will you incorporate these tools into your workflow? And if you want to get a serious about content creation, getting your first video editing clients, learning how to edit in Premiere Pro under 30 minutes, taught by yours truly, link in the description below. Help me help you. And you're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.